Okay, we're going to make some homemade beeswax with essential oil candles. So the beeswax comes from uh, Mary Tyler Naturals. 100% pure, raw and natural, triple filtered, cosmetic grade, so you know it's good. It's all organic. And we're also going to use the Mary Tyler Naturals certified organic uh, lemongrass essential oil. So the first thing that I have here is I have some small little jars and I have some some wicks here. So I'm going to hot glue the wicks in the jar. So just a dab on the bottom there. That way I can kind of press it in place. Try and make sure I get it centered there. So the directions from Mary Tyler's website says the best way to heat the beeswax is over water. So I'm going to get that water warming up. I'm just going to simply put another pan on top and I'm going to put the beeswax in there. So I put two cups of beeswax in there. Not really sure how much it's going to make. We're just kind of experimenting now. And uh, it says it takes, you know, 10 to 12 minutes to uh, mix it and to get it, you know, get it all completely melted, which is what we're going to want. So it says for every four ounces of beeswax, we're going to use two teaspoons of essential oil. It says if you want a stronger scent, then you can use more. But if you've ever smelled lemongrass, it's kind of a pretty potent scent. I don't think we're going to want more. So we're going to stick with the every four ounces, two teaspoons. So that's going to be about two teaspoons per jar. So my water's starting to boil. And you can see that the wax is kind of starting to melt a little bit now. So if I feel like it's starting to melt too quickly or get too hot, then I'm probably going to turn the, uh, turn the heat down. As you can see it's starting to melt pretty good. And it's just an old an old pot that I'm melting it in, nothing fancy. So I read that the objective is just to make sure that it's not lumpy. And that it's all completely melted, but we don't actually want it to boil. Because then we're going to lose our consistency. Yeah, I'm probably going to turn it down a little bit. This stove seems to have two options. Off and blazing hot. Oops. Looks like we're starting to melt pretty good. Not really sure. It looks like I'm probably going to need more wax than that. Just want to kind of melt it down and measure it out and see what's up so I kind of know where we're at with it. And it probably said it on the directions, but I probably didn't exactly remember what it said. So, my bad. I've made candles before, but I never did it with beeswax, so this is kind of cool. Okay, so funny thing, I wanted to measure to see how much it was melted, <clears throat> how much four ounces would be. So I did it in a glass jar. Yeah, beeswax cools really quickly. So thank God I did it in glass. Uh, and it, it was a little over four ounces. So it was about six ounces for two cups. So a little bit of a math adjustment there, but... All right, here we go. Okay, so after my little oops, there we go. I poured it. I couldn't pour and hold the camera at the same time. Sorry. So you can see it's already starting to turn white. I did go ahead and add 
two teaspoons of the lemongrass essential oil in there. It smells quite good. Poured it in there. I used a clothespin to try and keep my wick straight there. And we're supposed to let it dry for several hours. So since I prepared two of them, I'm going to go ahead and try this again. So we're going to measure about two cups of this. I know it made a little more, but I'd rather have more than not enough. We're going to go ahead and put two teaspoons of the essential oil in there. Mix it up. However, I'm not going to measure it and pour it in there. I'm just going to stir it up and you can see where it dries on my whisk there. So I'm not making too big a mess, so at least maybe I won't be in too much trouble. So let's go ahead and do one more. So this time I added the essential oil while the pellets were melting. So come on and focus here. I don't know what it's doing. There we go. So since it's already starting to get hot, it shouldn't take but just a minute to uh, melt it down. And then we'll quickly pour it into the uh, candle there, the candle holder. We'll ch check it out. So I guess as the glass is heating, it's kind of warmed it back up. You can see it's starting to cool at the bottom. So it's going to be interesting to see what it's like when it's done. And I guess I Sorry, let me unplug the uh, hot glue gun there. So, still melting. I'm just hoping I can clean my favorite whisk. Okay, so the second one I couldn't find another clothespin to keep the wick in the middle, so I just used two pieces of foil it seems to work so we're just gonna let them sit here uh, probably for like 24 hours because I'm not gonna be able to mess with them again until probably tomorrow afternoon when I get off work uh, we'll see kind of where they're at and then we'll burn one and see how that goes of course the next steps we'll need to trim the wick once they're done and uh, I've got little lids for them and stuff. We could probably make some little cute labels or something like that. But I think these would make great gifts. Um, I really liked the beeswax. You know, plus it's natural, so that's kind of cool. And uh, using some natural essential oil, my kitchen smells awesome. So now I'm going to go try and clean up that mess that I made uh, while I was measuring melted beeswax. But as you can see, the height on this one is probably about like right there. And that was using just right, barely less than two cups of the pellets. So I think that's probably a good measurement, about two cups of pellets. It's going to make about four ounces of melted beeswax. So I'm going to post the links to where you can find uh, Mary Tyler's stuff. I, I use a lot of their essential oils. I like that everything's organic and it, it's always of like superior quality. So till next time. So it's been about 24 hours since we did the pour. So now we just need to trim the wicks and I wish you could smell them because they smell absolutely amazing. So let me trim the wicks real quick. Okay, wicks are trimmed, just a quick little snip. And I have, oh yes, here they are. I have the little lids to go on them. Here. I can't wait to burn one. So I'm gonna add one more quick little thing. I'll show you. Ta-da! I've just got these great little uh, stickers that you can use uh, chalk markers on. So I reuse all my jars and you can wipe these labels right off. And I know my uh, handwriting is deplorable, but whatever, you get the point. So let's light one real quick. All right, had to go find a lighter here. So. Yeah, maybe I should have trimmed the wick a little further down, but it'd be all right. 
but there we have it. Using our Mary Tyler Naturals Certified Organic White Beeswax Pellets. We still have a little bit left. Maybe we can make a smaller candle. And also our Mary Tyler Naturals Organic Essential Oil using the lemongrass. That's what I had the most of. And that actually smells lovely. So everything I've read about using beeswax to make the candles is that it actually burns for a long time. The great thing about this beeswax, I just want to show you real quick. Let me see if I can get it to focus in on here. Is look, this is cosmetic grade. So I was looking up some recipes. Man, we could make hand lotions, lip balms. Oh, it says it right there. I mean, we could make all kinds of cool stuff with this. I just wanted to do the candles because I love candles. This is absolutely awesome. We saw in the video it melted quickly. That smells really good. This is so awesome. I'm super stoked about this. Remember, you can find the links in the bottom of the video. I'm going to share it. You should go check them out. They have tons of stuff. This is really just a small snippet of the things that they have and the stuff that we could do. Uh, with it. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I really wish you could smell it. Look at it burn. Look at that. I'm so pleased. Lovely thing about these jars is when we want to extinguish it. Do this one-handedly here. And it's out. And there we go. Ta-da!